Hello, my name is Rupert Miller and I'm the proprietor of the website englishman.pl. I'd like today to share with you one of my more amusing experiences um, about a little business uh, that uh, happened to one of my colleagues a few years ago. Uh, in England, we have an expression called the devil is in the detail. You no doubt have the same expression in Polish. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but it's something to do with Diablo. Um, but anyway, uh, let's move on to the, the actual story itself, because it's, it's really, uh, how do I put it? It's, it's, it's really relevant in today's world um, about the most important thing in, in, in business activity is, is ne it's nearly always the detail that matters. Um, anyway, uh, I'll move on. Uh, a colleague of mine, a business colleague of mine, a few years ago, um, was doing some business with an Italian company from Milan. Now, um, he, he wanted to buy a very, very expensive, massive, huge printer for his business in the UK. And this printer was going to cost about half a million dollars. I mean, it was, it was a, a very, very big contract. And it involved lots of meetings, Lots of toing and froing, flying to Milan, flying to they were flying to London, and you know, and it, a lot of due diligence was done, and checks and balances were done, and and he was most meticulous and careful about this Italian company who he wanted to buy this huge printing machine that was going to really help his business sort of move forward and 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 develop into a, into a major player in the market, and the the person he was dealing with in this Italian firm was a very, very smartly dressed Italian businesswoman. And she was always immaculately dressed, always had the latest Chanel suits, the most amazing Dior handbags, glasses, and she was just always, always immaculately dressed and presented everything beautifully. And her handbags were beautiful, her hair was beautiful. She was a really classy lady and he was very impressed with her. Anyway, as meetings developed, so it came closer to the process of the actual sale. So he flew over with his team to Milan and they met in the boardroom and there was this fantastic sort of canapes were laid out and champagne was there and everything. The boardroom table was a lovely walnut table and the chairs were beautiful. And it was just, everything was perfect. And, and, and he remember, I mean, remember him telling me that he, he really felt so good about everything that he was really on a, on, a, on a high and he was buzzing. Um, so you know, he was very happy with everything. Um, and then it came to the actual signing of the contracts, which involved the sale contracts and the service contracts and all the other contracts that you require uh, for doing such a transaction. Um, and they had this amazing, lovely color, uh, sort of leather covered, leather bound folder. And, and she opened it on the table and and it was, you know, all these papers were in beautiful sort of like parchment quality and everything was just immaculate. And then she pulled out of her handbag um, a biro in which she was going to use to, to, to sign the documents. And the biro was a bit like this one. It was old, smelly and chewed at one end. And he looked at the barrow and he looked at the woman and he thought, there's something wrong here. And at that moment he stood up and he said, look, I'm, I'm really, really sorry, but um, uh, I need a little bit more time before I sign these contracts. Um, I just, just need a little bit more time. So if you could be so kind and just afford me this little bit of extra time, I, I'm sure everything will be good. Anyway, he left the room and he went back to England because he didn't understand, and to this day, he still doesn't understand why that woman pulled out of her handbag a grotty, horrible, chewed pen to sign a huge contract. What made her do that? Why hadn't she pulled out a lovely, proper, fountain pen like this and if she had done that he would have signed and then he would have been in big trouble because after this episode 
he decided to check the company even more. And he found out that actually Italians had been pulling the wool over his eyes and they'd falsified documents, the bank had been telling porky pies, and the whole thing was a bit of a sham and he'd been caught out. But this biro gave the game away. This tiny little detail, after all these months of careful preparation, careful due diligence, and all of the other checks that were done, this one little biro, this mistake this woman made, gave the whole game away. And that company in Italy, in Milan, they folded. And this was their last ditch attempt to try and get some cash out of this sucker, this would-be sucker from England. Because none of the service contracts were in place to be dealt with. And it was just quite an extraordinary, extraordinary tale. And he felt his lucky stars had, had, had arrived when he saw this woman put out the pen because it, 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 saved his, it saved his bacon, basically. Because had he signed, he would have been in he would have been in deep trouble. Anyway, that's just one story I've got um, about business and trying to be really careful and, and checking everybody so important. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a funny story, um, but it could have been very, very tragic for, 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 for this, this, this business colleague of mine. Um, so I hope you like the hope you like the story um, and do subscribe and if you feel like it give me a thumbs up and if you've got any comments please do feel free to comment away um, below thanks so much bye bye